So we're going to start off with record, uh, installing Node and the first thing you'll notice is there are two versions of Node available. Uh, one is the current version, the other is LTS. The LTS version is which you want to install, is it's because it's the stable version. The next thing is uh, if you have installed Node then you want to check if Node is properly installed so you can go ahead and say Node hyphen hyphen version and you'll see the version right there. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and create a new directory. I'm going to call it food app because that is what we are going to create and right off the bat you can see that I'm using something a little different than CMD which is called commander. Commander is basically an application that allows you to access the console with commands similar to Linux which is awesome. So if you want you can go ahead and install commander. Now I'm going to cd into the food app directory and you can see that there are no files. We're going to go ahead and say npm init which is going to initialize a new npm uh, or a node uh, project and I'm going to add this description to it. Um, now these options are basically optional so if you don't want to enter anything in here you can just skip all of these just pre keep pressing enter and a new uh, folder will be created uh, for you package.json will be created basically. Uh, now you can go ahead and copy the git repository URL if you have created one or else you can create a new github account or whatever uh, git repository you want to use um, and then copy the repository URL and paste here. Um, all of these again are optional so you don't really have to do anything. Uh, you can see that package.json is created now and the next thing we want to add is index.js because this is the starting point as we selected in the entire process. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it in Visual Studio Code and I can do that by saying code dot. If you don't have Visual Studio Code you can just download it for free. It's available, it's created by Microsoft and it's really awesome. So you've got lots of lots of features um, that you can use. Uh, you have lots of extensions and you can you have your own user snippets. So that is awesome. Uh, that's the first thing. Okay, so the next thing is uh, index.js. This is the starting point of the application and what we are going to do is we are going to search for some sample node.js code and don't worry I'll just give you a brief explanation of what I'm doing. Um, but my focus is not going to be on explaining each and everything I do but rather uh, going through the entire process and telling you what uh, we are creating. So here I've imported HTTP because that is what we will require to create a server. HTTP is a module uh, provided within node. Then we go ahead and create a new server using HTTP.createServer and we are sending a response of 200 if we uh, get a, a request on this URL. So the response is going to be hello world. Um, now I'm going to be using the internal uh, integrated terminal with visual code and uh, you can create and remove uh, terminals as you want which is cool so now the only thing that you need to do is you need to say node index.js and that will go ahead and create uh, or start the server for us um, now port number 3000 is not where the application was started because we had selected 8080 so we're gonna input the port over there and you can see hello world is displayed Cool, so we have our first uh, node server up and running. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to install Express because uh, let's be honest the syntax of the current uh, create server is not really the cleanest. Uh, we can go ahead and install Express which is um, basically it's a framework that helps you create uh, your server and create different endpoints and it's basically the same thing but it's packaged in such a way that the syntax is much simpler to use. So we can just say where app is equal to express and in the parentheses and the object that is returned contains several functions including get and post. So here I have a get request that I'm listening for and the URL is going to be the default URL as you can see by the backslash. So now the callback function is going to send a response and the response is going to be hello world. Now this time the port number is 3000 so we're just going to input that and we are going to press enter. And as you notice it doesn't start because my node index.js was not running. And uh, yeah 
so there is some sort of a problem and the problem is basically that we don't have express install as you can see when I said node uh, index.js it says cannot find module express um, that is because we have to install it via npm now npm is something that uh, comes pre-installed with node so you don't have to separately download and install it you can use npm for installing several modules uh, that are available open source uh, and you can go ahead and find them on npmjs.com uh, one of them is express which we are currently using and there are tons of other uh, such packages available uh, made by developers like us and you can also upload your own packages if you want as you can see there are several details that you can uh, find over here about every package and generally there are going to be simple usage instructions and installation uh, instructions as well for pretty much every package that you see on npm so now we have it installed and the next thing we want to do as you can see our package is installed um, so there are uh, some packages that are being used by express which is why there are so many packages displayed um, here you can see hello world is working so we have our express server up and running okay so the next thing I'm doing is uh, I'm just uh, doing a console log in order to display that uh, our server is running because currently you can see there is nothing displayed in the terminal that indicates that this is uh, the server is actually running and apologize for the uh, you know confusions in uh, shortcuts of windows but with that with all, with all of that fixed uh, we can just run the server again and we can see how it goes now i was having some issues with the integrated terminal so i switched to commander uh, unfortunately the kill all node command doesn't work it works on linux so now i just had to go ahead and search for an alternate command now whenever your server uh, tends to get stuck for some reason you are not uh, having access to the terminal when you started your server uh, what happens is if you try to start another server it will give you an error so now you have to kill that process before you start another server on the same, same port number so the command for that you can find on uh, stack overflow and the command is right here so you can see uh, netstat hyphen ano uh, and then find string colon and then your port number so I'm just going to copy that and paste it here and I'm gonna add the port number as 3000 so as you can see there was a server running which has been uh, stopped so now we can go ahead and start our server so we're gonna say node index.js and you can see it says server running on port number 3000 so now we can go ahead and check if our process is running and yes it is